right here the Lucas Tools paintbrush. It comes in this box right here, this amazing box that looks kind of like an iPhone box. It comes with a brush cover right here inside the box. You can see, hopefully you can see that. It comes with a brush cleaner right here. Um, I'll show you the brush cleaner right there. But it all comes in this box with some instructions to right here. This is the box and the brush. So we're going to be testing this thing out today, letting you know what we think of it. thing actually comes with a lifetime warranty too. So here we go. We're going to test it out. we got three of us. We've got Greg over here is going to be testing out. We've got Zach's going to be testing out. I'll be testing out and so will John. And we'll let all four of us, we'll let you know what we think of it towards the end of this video. So here we go. Stay tuned. So we're getting ready to do some painting on this house. We're going to be using a solid color stain. Getting ready to use the brush. Got my cut in bucket right here. We're using a solid color stain to paint with. We got a stucco house here, but all the trim is wood. So it's a dark solid color stain. So we're using the Lucas Tools paintbrush right here. And I'm not sure what a $100 paintbrush feels like because they've never used a $100 paintbrush. But this thing, if there is such a thing, this thing looks like $100 feels like a hundred dollars so I'm kind of excited to test it out I'm pretty impressed with the packaging uh, impressed with the handle this handle is, is amazing the hardwood stain handle this ferrule is the best looking ferrule I've ever seen on a brush in my life this the bristles are pretty stiff so I'm not sure if it's ideal for using uh, this brush for a solid color stain because it's pretty watery but we're gonna give it a test we'll be using it with stains and then I'll be using it with paints too but we're gonna test it out today using stains so here we go. I'm going to give this thing to Greg and Gregory's going to give it a try and we'll see what he says. Here's a close look of our Lucas brush with our the CNC logo right there. A close look at the bristles. Just act like I'm not here. Exactly. So we got Greg here is testing out the Lucas paintbrush. So what do you think of the brush, Greg? How is I, it performing? I think it's a really nice brush. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, the handle is nice and smooth and lightweight. Do you think the handles and the brush itself is balanced well? I do. What do you think about the stiffness of the bristles? Um, it would not be ideal for detailed work or if you're trying to lay out paint in like an interior, but for something like this where it's just painting on stain, it works pretty well. So is it working pretty good for the stain? Uh, it is. Got no problems with it. So would you buy one? Um, as a centerpiece, maybe. A centerpiece? But I wouldn't want to get $100 over something that I... I wouldn't want to get paint on something I paid $100 for. So even if you got a lifetime warranty for it? Maybe then I would. Maybe then. You got a cool looking hat on there. That's a cool looking hat. <laughs> Overall, it's a nice brush. All right, Zach, you've been using the $100 Lucas Pro Tools paintbrush for a while. What do you think? Um, my favorite part of it would probably be the brush or the handle. Sorry. So you like the handle? Yeah, the handle's really comfortable. It's uh, pretty decently light too for how big it is. Yeah, I noticed that, a really light handle. Definitely liked it. What do you think of the really stiff bristles? Um, they're all right. It takes a little bit to get used to, but uh, I think it, the bristles are really high quality. They haven't broken or anything like that since I've been using them and I've been trying to like get inside the knots of the wood here and it hasn't damaged them at all, so. Has the paintbrush nice. been dripping paint at all? No, none. I haven't had any problems with it dripping. So it holds paint well. Yeah. Would you pay a hundred dollars for that brush? Um, I think I would have to wait and see if it's uh, gonna last a long time, just to make sure it's cost effectiveness. What can be an improvement on that brush? Um, I think I would have gone with a little bit softer bristle, but. Other than that, I don't really see any problems with it. So I guess the question is, do you like the brush? I do like the brush. I 
think I would definitely consider buying it in the future. Use the grade calculator. Yeah, yeah but one. he hasn't he's gonna drop stuff somewhere. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Flip it around, see. Heavier on So you haven't used it much, so tell me what your opinion is, John. I think it's a good brush. I'd you, like to use it on some interior trim. The So you've used it on some what some rough sawn yeah, cedar up here. Some rough sawn cedar up on some fascia. What was and your initial impressions of the brush? At first I thought I'd thrash it on some rough sawn cedar and uh, it held up really well. Really stiff down at the base of the brush um, towards the ferrule but then the tips are so soft they, they cut a really nice line. Seems like a lot of money for a brush, right? A little bit but you know maybe a little less packaging would help that. So after we test it out for a while we'll put it through the ringer and see what it how it lasts after a month, eh? Yeah. See if we can. What do you think of the handle? You, you said some stuff about the handle that. A uh, beaver tail handle isn't my preference, and with the with the ferrule being oval on the brush, there's there's a lot of weight, more weight than I'm used to. And that doesn't really mean anything more than I'm just used to the the brushes that have more of an American ferrule on them. But I, I prefer a fluted handle that comes out a little bit more and balances it out, but. You know, it's it's something you could get used to. It's just just different. Yeah. Well, we'll be continuing to try it out, we'll put it in your hands for a long time, and see what you think of it after a month. There we go. So the next test is cleaning this thing. We've been using this thing most of the day now, kind of uh, using it using a solid color stain on a bunch of rough sawn cedar, and this is what the brush looks like. It comes with this little handy. Uh, bristle cleaner tool so I'm going to clean it out we're going to see how easy it cleans out now and it holds a lot of paint the bristles inside there tons of paint inside that thing so we're going to clean this baby out we typically use a barbecue brush to clean our bristles it's got this tool here and we'll see how fast and easy and how easy the paint comes off a good quality bristle the paint usually doesn't adhere or absorb into the bristles and it usually comes off real easily. So if I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars on a paintbrush, I want this thing to clean up really well and do not have a whole lot of paint on it at the end, in the end. Yeah, and here, and you know, this being a solid color stain, it didn't even stain the bristles there. So I got the brush all cleaned out now. It cleaned faster than any brush I've ever used before. It cleaned really easily too. The, uh, all the paint, the, the stain, the solid color stain just came right off. I used the little bristle tool. It comes with a holder right here or a bristle um, a holder right here. Just gonna put it back inside there to protect it. It's an expensive brush. So it comes with this little holder and then it comes with a case right here that you'll just stick inside this case so it doesn't get damaged either. I'll show you. So this case just opens up. Got a case right here, stick it inside there. And now our brush is completely protected and ready to use the next time. So we're all done testing this brush out today. The $100 paintbrush from Lucas Pro Tools. I had John, Greg, and Zach test it out. You saw what they had to say about it. I've tested it out. And uh, I have to say, at the end of the day, using this thing, I do really like it. Now, the question is, is it worth $100? Would I pay $100 for the, this brush? That is a good question. The brush itself, I really like the handle. 
I uh, was a little bit skeptical about how stiff it was when I started using it on this exterior trim, this rough sawn cedar. I did end up liking it a lot, how stiff it was. It cut in lines extremely straight. I liked how balanced it was. It was a little bit heavier on the end of the brush once it's loaded up and so there was a lot more weight on the end where the bristles was and I kind of like the weight. Definitely like the handle. I liked how smooth it was. I do really, really like how well this thing is built. The ferrule on it is built. It looks really, really classy. It's an excellent looking br brush. The bristles themselves, uh, they were really stiff and uh, I was really concerned about this rough sawn cedar, how if it's gonna beat up the bristles on this brush and tear them up a lot. I didn't see it all during the day, not one bristle fell out of this thing, and at the end of the day, I'm looking at the tips of them, and they're still extremely sharp. It cleaned up really fast and easy. I took it out, just took it in some water. I didn't use uh, a hose or anything, I just put it in a bucket of water, used the brush cleaning tool in my hands, and it cleaned up really fast and easy. The bristles are extremely extremely slick and smooth and the solid color stain came off of them pretty fast and it didn't even stain. Usually our solid color stains will stain the bristles and to the color that the stain is and it didn't even stain the bristles. So it cleaned up really well. It's gonna, won't look exactly brand new next time I use it, but it's definitely gonna look cleaned up, ready, polished up, ready to go. So once again, it's all done for the day. We've tested it out and I'll, uh, I got a couple of them, I'm, I think three of them I'm giving away on my website. Uh, I think that three total given away on my website, theidahopainter.com. Theidahopainter.com. You can go to my giveaway page and get one of these $100 paint brushes I'm giving away. Also going to be giving away another one of them on my live show. My live show is every Monday at 7 p.m. Here's the Lucas Pro Tools paint brush. I do really like this thing. If they sold them in my paint store, I'd probably buy one. I really like the packaging. I know the box probably is just going to get tossed. So I'm going to stick this thing back in the box because that box is so nice. I'm going to keep it stored in the box. But I got one. Each one of my guys has one now to paint with. And we're going to be testing them out for a whole month. And then I'm going to come back and do another video and see how the $100 brush fared after a whole month of use. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I don't know if any of you have tried this brush out. It's being sold over in the UK. They're trying to market it over in the United States. I'm in the US here, but it's being sold over there now. If any of you tried this brush, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. If you like the brush, uh, let me know. If you haven't tried it, would you purchase a $100 paint brush? Let us know in the comments below. If it's over here in the United States, if it's sold online or a paint store, would you buy it? Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Instagram for more painting tips and tricks. And once again, you can go to my website to find my tool store, my hat store, and you can get some free, some free cool giveaways. I'm giving away an airless sprayer there right now. So go check it out down below theidahopainter.com and we'll see you on my next video. Out.